Hello friends, welcome to the Take Better Photos channel. In this video, we're going to be talking about one of the major features of DxO Photo Lab 7, DxO Smart Lighting. What is it? How does it work? And how can it speed up your workflow? That's what we're going to be answering in today's video. DxO Smart Lighting is an automatic adjustment tool which extends the dynamic range of the image by rebalancing underexposed and overexposed areas of the image quickly and accurately. DxO says it is its most complex correction as it has a global and local effect on the image, affecting the whole picture and local details. It works with both RAW and JPEG, and it has two strangely named modes, Uniform and Spot Weighted. So let's run through Uniform Mode first. What is Uniform Mode? Uniform Mode lets you automatically brighten or darken certain areas of your image without affecting other areas. According to DxO, Uniform Mode is useful in these scenarios. Images with a contrast range markedly higher than a camera can handle, images with very dark areas, and images that were accidentally underexposed or lacks a flash fill in. To demonstrate uniform mode, let's use this image. To use it, simply turn it on. As you can see, the smart lighting effect is automatic. However, you have two tools to adjust the correction. The first is a drop down menu that lets you modify the intensity of the correction. You also have the choice of using the intensity slider. Do note that when you use the intensity slider, the drop down menu will display the custom mode. As you can see from this example, Smart Lighting does a great job with the shadows, even though it also did correct the blown out highlights. Uniform mode also appears to be able to use masking to achieve its results. You can see that when I enable smart lighting for this image, shadows are brought up targeting just the persons. The background and other elements remains untouched. In my tests, no other global adjustment seemed to be able to give the same result, which might indicate that some masking is being done behind the scenes. Here are other examples of badly lit photos corrected by the smart lighting uniform mode. So that was uniform mode. Let's move on to spot weighted. Spot weighted mode is based on detection of phases in a photo in order to optimize the exposure without radically modifying the rest of the image. This feature is particularly useful in the following cases, backlit phases, and phases that are too bright or too dark against the background. DxO says that this is not precisely a local correction, but rather a way to weight the exposure in favor of faces while preserving the correct exposure of the rest of the image. So I take it with this explanation that the spot weighted mode doesn't do any people masking, but simply uses existing global adjustment tools to get its results. So let's demonstrate spot weighted mode with this image. When you click on the spot weighted button, DxO Smart Lighting will apply a correction in slight mode by default, taking into account the faces present in the image. And this is indicated in the sub palette. Each detected face is surrounded by a rectangle. And just like in uniform mode, you can change the strength of the adjustment with a drop down or intensity slider. Comparing the spot weighted versus uniform mode adjustment, 
you can see there is a difference. Uniform mode takes into account brightness and darkness of the entire image, while spot weighted optimizes for just the phases exposure, and that gives a more pleasant result in portraits. Now let's try another image. Unfortunately, when using spot weighted mode, it was unsuccessful in being able to detect a face. In such a case, the effect applied will be exactly the same as uniform mode as you can see here. DxO says that the non-detection occurs because the face is partially hidden. In cases where the face is not detected, you can manually draw a rectangle and the software will perform a new analysis and apply a new correction to the image. Here is another example where the face is unsuccessfully detected and how to resolve it. So that is how DxO Smart Lighting works. Now let's move on to some tips on using DxO Smart Lighting. First, reserve DxO Smart Lighting where the shadows need to be brought back. It has little effect on highlights unlike the exposure compensation slider. Stick with the three automatic correction modes as much as possible, slight, medium, and strong, as they can cope with most situations. You can of course use the intensity slider to tweak the adjustment. Finally, you can use smart lighting to automatically bulk edit your photos. And that is what I think is its most useful application. Let's demonstrate this. To bulk edit with smart lighting, First thing you do is to edit a reference photo. Ensure that smart lighting is turned on. I recommend to choose spot weighted as if there are no faces, uniform mode will apply it automatically. So you get the best of both worlds. I recommend choosing slight or medium to get the most natural looking results. Once you're done editing, go back to your photo library. Right click on the edited image Click Copy Correction Settings. Select the rest of the images. Right click and choose Paste All Correction Settings. And boom, Smart Lighting does its magic to all your selected photos. So that's how you do bulk editing with Smart Lighting. Now let's move on to some pros and cons of using the the smart lighting tool. Let's start with pros. The first pro is it gives nice looking results. This is true particularly of portraits with the spot weighted mode. Second pro is it works fast. Smart lighting doesn't seem to rely heavily on AI, so you don't experience the lag and slow processing of newer AI based solutions. Now let's move on to the cons. The first con is face recognition does need an update. As you've seen, it doesn't recognize faces clearly present in the image. The second con is smart lighting is a black box. Unlike newer technologies like On One's Brilliance AI, which allows you to view, modify, and learn from the actual adjustments performed automatically by the tool, smart lighting's adjustments are opaque. While you can guess, you cannot know for sure what kind of adjustments DxO performed. So there you have it. That is how you use DxO Smart Lighting. As you've seen, it is a powerful automatic adjustment tool that can really speed up your workflow and give you great edits with very little effort. Let me know if you have any other DxO Smart Lighting tips that I may have missed. I'd love to hear from you. And if you like this content, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share to help keep the videos coming. Until the next video, I'm going to see you in the next one. Bye for now.